Hello and welcome to Vlogmas. It is Christmas Eve Eve, which means it's my big Christmas celebration. I have not showered yet. I've been up since 5 a.m. and I just can't go back to sleep because I got a lot of stuff to do, but I think I might take a nap or just like chill out in a few minutes because I have done a lot this morning. So I figured I would show you what I've done. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna cover some of the things that I've put out and let me show you what I'm doing. All right, so this is obviously like my peninsula, which is gonna be, you know, where everyone's gonna go around to get their food. And so I wanted to kind of like lay out everything to see if it all fit and it didn't. So I had to make over here like a little treat corner and I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. So over here is like a little beverage thing that I'm gonna put a bunch of bottled beverages and some ice in there. This is going to be the ice bucket that people can use for their drinks if they want to use that. I'm gonna put my chicken in here. I have my serving spoon. This doesn't have anything in it at the moment, but I'm making some biscuits, so those will go in there. I won't do the chicken or the biscuits until later. I'm gonna have some butter next to the biscuits in case someone wants some butter. Um, there's nothing currently in there. <laughs> and then um, Heidi is bringing potatoes. I'm not sure if she's gonna bring them in pan or in a serving dish, so I figured I'd put this out in case she needs it. I put these little cookies out. These are from well, not Trader Joe's. I want to say Trader Joe's, but it's not from Aldi. Um, and I got them in a previous haul. This is going to be for my taco dip, which I won't make until right before. Obviously, I have a mound of chips <laughs> um, because I'm actually going to be making, this is my new crock pot. Um, I put a little liner in here already, so then I don't have to deal with the mess. Um, I'm going to be making, I think it's called buffalo chicken dip. Um, I got the recipe from my coworker. And you use ranch and some Frank's Red Hot and some chicken and I believe the other ingredient is sour cream I want to say but I'm not gonna do that until probably about like an hour before everyone arrives is I'll put that in there and just get that heated up because I already uh, baked the chicken this morning this I have a little plate with a spoon on it so people can grab stuff and then put it back on there because you know anyway whole long thing. Uh, my phone is right there. It's been going off all day. <laughs> this is going to be where all the cheese is going to go. I have like a little cheese board situation happening and I've got like a million and one crackers. Um, some of these crackers are actually flavored, so they're good even without the cheese, but whatever. Just, you know, you got to have a lot of options, right? I've got some nuts and then in these bowls are going to be, and I've got like these little grabber guys. This is going to be for pickles and this one's going to be for olives. For some reason, I thought I had like a, like a divided glass tray. I don't know where that is. I think I must have just not brought it with me because I had it in Fargo and I know I, I don't have it anymore so I don't know what's going on with that. All right then over in the treat section don't worry about this stuff over here or that the biscuits are actually going to go on my pizza stone and whatever. So um here is the piece de resistance. Mm, I'm so excited to have some of this tonight. This is the rum cake that I made yesterday. I've got my hot chocolate station. I actually crumbled these up this morning um to put on top of hot chocolate if people want it and then these will go in there there's like a bunch of candy in there and then this is another whoop, like a little treat area and I'm gonna cover all these um these are like those little I don't know just wafer things those are like some muddy buddies um there are some little bear guys and some more chocolates and then these I think I got these at TJ Maxx or something, but they're, they kind of taste like M&Ms, but they're not, they're not M&Ms. But they're just like a candy coated shelled chocolate. So kind of like M&Ms. But the chocolate's a little bit different, but they're really good. So that's what I have going on in the fridge situation. Let me show you. I've got my Moscato over here. Da -da -da. Um, the chicken is right there for the crock pot. I've got a bunch of stuff already ready for the taco dip, which is kind of behind there. This is the jello I made last night, and then I have a bunch of stuff already cooling, even though I'm gonna put it like all that like crush and root beer. There's more root beer and actual beer there. I've got ginger ale, I've got Coke, I've got Diet Coke, I got water, got milk, 
got chocolate milk, I got a little bit of everything. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how everything is looking right now. And I am super hungry because <laughs> I haven't, haven't had any breakfast nor lunch. Even though it's only nine o'clock, I feel like I need lunch, like something with sustenance. Because to be honest, last night, I didn't eat until what was it, like 9.30 or something like that. And I was so over it. All I did was eat a little bit of cheese and crackers. Like, oof, that was probably like the worst decision ever, but oh well. Oh well, right? And oh, I got the heater in the garage working. That took a while. Um, there is, it's like a gas line. So you have to turn the gas line on in that room. Whoop, that, whoa, that room right there, which is like my utility room. And um, I tried to turn it on like six times and it just would not turn on. I'm like, what the heck? Well, turns out I wasn't totally doing it wrong, but Oh, it's all nice and warm in here. It's, I think it's like warmer in here than it is in the house right now. But that little black, whoop, right there, that little black thing right there is a heater. So, uh, got it on, it is working. And I have it on the lowest setting right now. And it's just like a gas heater. I don't know if the blue flame, if you can even see it on camera or not. It's not really coming out on the viewfinder, so I don't know. But um, I have it on the lowest setting. I figured when the guy calls, I'm assuming it's a guy, it might get, be a gal, I don't know. Whenever they call to let me know that they're on their way, they're supposed to call me like 30 minutes before and they're supposed to be here at noon, I'll crank it all the way up then. But yeah, so I put my dad's car in the guest parking and my car is just in the middle because they have to be able to like open up both doors and you know, do the things that they need to do, so yeah. And I really want to get a car wash, but I don't want to do it with cracked windshield. So that's not happening. Just not happening. So it's nice and warm in there. Hmm. It's warm in here too, but <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I think I'm going to eat a little bit of something now and um, go from there. Oh, by the way, I still have not heard from Overstock. Yep. I think I told you guys about that. I don't know. I haven't edited any of my vlogs all week. So I think tomorrow, Christmas Eve, is like the day of editing all the things because I just need to edit all the things. <laughs> so that's what's happening here. Oh, and I um, did a little something in the living room. So I made a little seating area over here. So this bench was originally upstairs, so like up there so i just brought it down here for the time being and then those are kind of like my beaded decorative pillows i got at tj maxx i already had all of this stuff i just kind of repurposed it because over here there's nothing over there anymore for seating so now we're going to seat right there and i just found this and i think it was in the guest room this is a wood chair that was made for me i think by my great grandparents or my great-grandfather like when I was born so I figured I would leave it out because first of all it's super cute right and um, I figured Jackson might want to sit in it I don't know maybe 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 what do you think Doyle yeah 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 <laughs> such a weird dog Doyle he's been sitting over there on the couch like all morning long and he didn't get up to help me once until I was cutting up the chicken. Then he came over and somebody got a little treat. So he was very excited about that. But I'm gonna fluff up, fluff, fluff up, fluff up the pillows and stuff like that um, before anyone arrives. My brother should be here around noon. He's coming from Iowa. He should be coming or getting here about noon. So like right as the glass people are here um, and he's gonna, I don't know, he's gonna like help me set up and stuff, but to be honest, he's probably just gonna watch football on TV, so, which is fine by me. And uh, yeah, that's it for the check-in right now. And I will see you guys in just a second, but it will be probably several hours later for me. So, see you in a moment. So we already ate, but here's kind of the aftermath. There's a lot of food left over. The table is a wreck now, but that's all right. That means that good things happened. No, I don't want to vote on Bob. Wait, what's happening? Oh, well, I guess not. Do you wanna do you wanna tell everybody about your vlog? I didn't do my vlog. I made a channel and then I just. 
didn't make a video. So for those of you that wanted to know about my channel like a few months ago, yeah, it's made, but there's no videos. So she made a channel. Well, you can have whatever you want. I'm, I'm not your mother. <laughs> you gonna say hello? Hey, hey. Are you okay? I'm great. Oh, I'm great. She's not drinking real beer. It's a root beer. Or a I promise. No, she's not. I promise you. It's root beer, guys. It's root beer. This is adult juice. Sure is. Well, hello. It is several hours later, and I am cleaning up the dining room and kitchen and living area. The living area is pretty well clean. My brother's watching the game and I'm cleaning. Um, so yeah, that was it. Sorry I didn't really vlog during because I'm trying to like have an experience and all that good stuff, but I've got dishes in the dishwasher almost ready to be done. Yeah, they're just drying right now, which is like I say that in bunny ear quotations because it's like a loose dry. And then um, I'm gonna do one more cycle and then I'm going to bed because I'm freaking tired. Uh, Doyle did pretty well with everybody here. I'll take you upstairs so you can see his bright shiny face. Oh, plus I need to take this upstairs anyway. It's like a little rag I used. And yeah, so it was loud, but it was good. <laughs> All right, let's find Doyle. And Doyle is currently in the guest room. I'm just dropping off my laundry. <gasps> Here he is. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Doyle did really good. He did retreat up here a little bit when it was getting a little too much for him, but I was very surprised and shocked that he was kind of in the middle of all of it, so... He was loved by all the kids that came over. And um, yeah, I think he had a good time. So anyway, I am gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. So will Doyle and his belly rubs. So yeah, we will we'll see you very soon. Bye guys. You gonna say bye? Bye guys. <laughs>